When we completed clip C, we were cleaning up our silk screen layer to make our board as readable as possible. Here you can turn off the grid and then turn off the crosshair snap to pins and pads. This will give you the greatest freedom to move the text of the reference designators around. Now it's time to optimize the rat's nest and then auto route to lay down the actual traces. Auto route all the rats. That is, it actually physically draws the connections, the traces. After you've auto routed your board, export it as a PNG and I want you to use the resolution of 800 dots per inch. You want a nice printable picture. Export it as a postscript file. A postscript file is a visual of what the Gerber files are going to look like. Then the last thing you do is you export it in the Gerber format. You'll be able to review the Gerber files with we have a Gerber viewer included. So now here's your PNG. That's your picture. You can print that out, check your connections. Then you're going to open the postscript file and page through it one at a time. Page one has the titles of each individual page, but these are visuals of what the Gerber files are supposed to look like, what information should be contained in them. Then the last thing you're going to do is open each Gerber file one by one and check it with a Gerber viewer. And then you're going to put all the Gerber files into one folder, select them all, and turn it into a zip file. That's obviously the silkscreen layer. Your board vendor probably does not want individual Gerber files. He wants the file sent to him as a zip that he'll unpack locally. So there's the last page of the postscript output, and it is the, uh, the fab output, how many holes, the size of the holes, whether or not they're plated. Open each Gerber file with the Gerber viewer and look to see if there's any obvious errors. There's the back mask. There's the fab. Now this is open source software. And what we have done is first we wrote a physical tutorial and then we created a live DVD. It's a bootable disk with all the packages that are necessary on the DVD including a complete operating system and now we're hardware independent. You can take this DVD, pop it into your computer, hit reset, your computer will boot from the DVD, run the operating system, and you have access to all the software that's required to do this electronic design suite. So here's all our Gerbers in the one folder. I selected them all. Right mouse button. Click on compress. And you have the option of what format you want. And you want zip. And you can give it the file name of your actual project. So there's the Gerber zip file up in the left-hand corner. Again, this is the list of all the steps that you go through from schematic creation to Gerber output. Of course, the tutorial on the DVD is much more comprehensive than what we could cover here in 35 minutes. 
Uh, for example, we take you through the process of creating a real footprint for a real part and getting the pins in the right locations. That can be tricky to do. Well, we thank you very much for viewing our video tutorial, which is Beechhurst Industries. And we thank you very much for stopping by. Have yourself a great day. The next screen is the screen credits. We have several videos posted on YouTube, and all were created using our video processing suite. What we did was create a DVD that's bootable, similar to this product, and we have those on our website at beachhurst.com if you go to the software division. And both these software packages are also available through amazon.com.